My name is Kim Cooper from Belfast, Shanker Road. Um, I was brought up in a non-Christian family, a family that didn't go to church. But as a child, as I went to children's meetings, a lot of children's meetings around the area. Um, and then my next door neighbour and his wife became Christians and they took me to their Good News Club. And it was just that Good News Club on the Shanker Road that I heard that I needed to be saved. And I couldn't understand that, that my mum and dad weren't saved and that they hadn't heard this or told me this news before. So anyway, I got saved, um, really not knowing what that entailed, and I just went along. So at every meeting, I was getting saved, or as I thought, um, just to make sure that I was going to heaven. And it wasn't until I was about 15 that I went along to a mission on the Shanker Road and I heard this gospel appeal again. And I thought, I can't keep getting saved. So I talked to the guy and he explained to me that you've only to do it once and just really grow as a Christian. So I started growing as a Christian, just reading my Bible every day and applying it to my life and went to Shanko Baptist and that's where I really grew in the Lord and started asking for direction in my life. I left school, wanted to do travel and tourism. That didn't work out because my dad got paid off work so I had to come out of study and, and look for a job, look for a job. Um, looking back, I can just see God's hand on my life because while I was working, I had this deep desire um, to go to the mission field. I just believe God put that on my heart. Um, but living in this non-Christian family, my mum and dad didn't understand this and life at home at times was hard. Um, they were, they drank alcohol and I didn't like alcohol because it was just abused in our family. So. Um, that was hard and I prayed a lot about that but God was good. It turned out that I did go to Bible college. They supported me big time in Bible college and while I was at Bible college I felt um, that I was going to go to Africa or somewhere but it ended up, I ended up on the Shankle Road um, telling people about Jesus and I just thank the Lord that through that ministry even my mum and dad became Christians and a lot of people on the Shankle Road became Christians. Then I moved to the east, really doing the same work as I did in the Shank Road, just trying to bridge the gap between the community and the church. And really that's the story of my life. It's just telling people about Jesus um, because somebody told me about Jesus when I was a child and, and that is the answer. Um, so I was brought up not really out there drinking, going to discos, but I knew even trying to be that good girl there was still something missing in my life and it was Jesus. Good morning, my name is Sean Toomey and I was born in a small town in County Limerick. At a very young age I, I found uh, I found alcohol. I'd been a survivor of sexual abuse and you know and and alcohol was kind of my escape. My alcohol led to a lot of drug taking in my life, you know, and uh, I had been an addict all my life. When Jesus came into my life, I was sleeping in a tent in the woods in, in Cork, in the back of, back of a stadium. And uh, that's where my life had ended me, you know. Uh, I uh, ended up nine stone weight, you know, and uh, I was mentally and spiritually and physically bankrupt, you know. Uh, I'd been in and out of jail most of my life and on and off the streets. and. Couldn't see much hope at the end, you know, um, and then Jesus came into my life, you know, and my life started to change, you know. I went to a treatment centre, and a, a Christian treatment centre, and, and I was shown the, the, the goodness of God through the Bible, you know, and um, I, I came to believe, you know, in a better life thanks to Jesus, you know. Um, I know today, you know, thanks, thanks to God, you know, I have a beautiful girlfriend and I, I have a... I have a good life, you know, I have a job and I have a roof over my head and things, the small little things that I thought I would never have, you know. Uh, I can remember a time where I got to bed and I would, I would pray for death, please God take me. And you know, in the end, you know, the, the, the last prayer I said on the street was please God help me. And that day actually, he helped me, you know. Uh, and ever since then, you know, I, I'm so grateful to God for my salvation, that for my change, for for, for, for all the goodness he has given me, you know, you know, there's a there's a better life out there for everybody, and uh, there's no need, you know, to all we have to do is trust in Jesus. Amen.
Hi, my name's Sammy. Um, I'm from East Belfast. I was born in 1964 into a Christian home. Uh, I went to church every Sunday, sent to Sunday school, sent to children's meetings at night time. But by the age of 16, I had totally just wanted to run away from it. Unfortunately, at that age, uh, I started drinking and taking drugs. At the start, it was only tablets. Then I started smoking dope. Uh, not long into till I was in about my twenties, I was drinking a bottle of alcohol most days. Um, that carried on for a good ten years um, until one evening I had tried to commit suicide when I was twenty nine years old, um, and I ended up in the church with my father uh, and got saved. Uh, I carried on like that until I was saved for about four years and when I had another fall. And again, I went back to vodka and drugs. I ended up using cocaine um, every day for about four years. Uh, so it was cocaine, a litre bottle of vodka, most days, uh, yellows and blues. Um, until I was in the gym one day and a girl had actually said to me, Sammy, would you like to come to church for me? Now, that was four years ago. Um, I went to Dundal and Dalem. And I went for three times and the next thing, one Sunday night, I knew my hand was up in the air and I came back to the Lord. Uh, I ended up going over the Teen Challenge for a while because it was quite difficult coming off coke. But from it been saved, I know now that even though the 18 to 20 years I spent sort of nearly in the gutter um, with drinking alcohol and drugs, God was there beside me all the time. I had walked away from him, but he had never left me. So these days, although I still struggle now and again with certain things, um, I know God's beside me. And he's been with me the whole stage, the whole time, from a child the whole way through. I'm 54 years old now. Um, I just praise and thank him every day for the things that he's done for me. And say amen to that. How are you? My name is Alan. I'm from Ballyfermot in Dublin. Um, just a brief testimony on uh, how the Lord has changed my life. I suppose before I met the, when before I knew the Lord, um, I was involved in all kinds of criminality. Um, you know, a lot of this, a lot of this crime would have been based on anger issues and stuff like that, based on you know traumatic experiences in my childhood. Uh, yeah, it was jails, drugs and institutions, everything you can take of, all kinds of violence, you know, every single thing you can think of when it comes to a, a life of crime, I was involved in, up to me neck in, uh, I suppose. Um, where that started to change for me was when I walked into the garden one day, um, my brother Jonathan was in the garden, my brother Jonathan had been a Christian, he'd been practicing a Christian for a while and he was praying for me a lot of the time and talking to me about God and all, but I just wasn't listening to him, I didn't really want to know, to be honest with you. And, um, but when I walked into the garden that day, my brother had looked at me. I hadn't seen my brother for about 18 months. He was in a Christian program himself called Piglin. And when I looked at him that day in the garden, when he looked at me, I really believe he looked at me with the eyes of Jesus because there was a love put in my heart at that moment that just wasn't there. It wasn't me own. I had grown up in a very dysfunctional, uh, abusive home um, where there was just where... Or, or to be honest with you, I just didn't love who I was and I didn't love my brother. But that day in the garden, there was a love put in my heart, as I said, that wasn't me own. And it made me question life. It made me question God when I seen the, the transformation of my brother's life from what God had done from just Jonathan giving his life from acknowledging the Lord. Uh, I knew I wanted some of that. So from that day to now, I've come to know the Lord. I've joined the local church. I'm on fire for the Lord. I was homeless. I was in drug addiction. I was, like I said, I was locked up all my life. Now today I can say that I am clean from drugs. I'm clean now four years. I have my own home. 
I'm actually going out with a guard now. Like I said, I spent a lot of time in criminality, but you know, God has a sense of humour and all this too. You know, he, he likes to see us happy and he likes to do good things for us. And he's just brought me into a relationship now with a woman, like I said, like a guard, a professional, like a guard that just would have never ever existed in the old life I've led. So you know, I'm just so happy to know the Lord. He's just really. He's just, he's just blessed me to be honest with you and I'm just the happiest I've ever been. My life is so far removed from what it was and I just thank Jesus for it every day of my life. Right, my name is Pascal from Cork. At the age of 15, I felt I was called to be a priest. Uh, and uh, next thing, I realised that, you know, celibacy is going to be costly and uh, it was good that I considered it. Uh, I went in, I suppose, thinking I was doing God a great favour. Then I realised, on reading a book of meditations, that God hated all sin. And I realised that I didn't. I just realised that I'm just like that Pharisee. And there was a wonderful peace came over me with that. I realized that I was a sinner, unkind, uncharitable, judgmental, bitter. But I felt cleansed, loved and forgiven for who I was. I felt that I was a new person. And I said, Lord, I made such a big deal about the sacrifice. And I said, I have a peace now that I've nothing to make up for. And then the words came alive within me. You did not choose me, I chose you. And that totally changed my perspective on life. Now, after four years, I felt that uh, I wasn't suited for the priesthood, my temperament, not on doctrinal issues, but... So I felt I had to come over, I felt very lonely. And got involved, heard about prayer meetings, and came along hungry for a blessing. I felt that, oh dear, I was full of regrets, past mistakes. And again, the Holy Spirit intervened in a wonderful, powerful, sovereign way. And he took all the regrets, he took the sting and the pain out of painful memories, and they were replaced with joy and thanksgiving. A new creation. And I thank God for all the past experience because it helps me to show empathy and compassion for others who are similarly afflicted. My name's Pauline, I'm from Dublin. I came to know the Lord about 34 years ago. I came to know him in just one night on my own in my own bedroom. I was reading a book called Power for Living that had been sent around the city and I just asked Jesus to come into my life. I come from a life of abuse at home as a young child and I, I knew inside I wasn't right and I asked Jesus into my heart and from that day to this I've just feel such peace and love and being cared for because the Lord died for us on the cross and one of the scriptures that he gave was we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. And he has strengthened me in my life, in my emotional life, in my physical life, in my spiritual life, in every part of my life. And I thank him for his salvation. And I will never forget that day, that night when I asked him into my heart. It's like my whole world just changed and all changed for all the good. I just thank him. I thank you, Jesus. <laughs> 